Hi Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today to share with you a layout that I created with my Coco Daisy February kits. This is a layout of my son and it's two actually really horrible pictures that I took through the windscreen of the car as he was leaving to go to a high school for his first shadow and a picture of him in the car as we were waiting for that opportunity. Um, I used the digital cut file here and created a bunch of clouds. I left some of them in place and I took some of them out because I knew I wanted to back that cut file. And I have a four by six card from the day in the life kit that I wanted to use as the focal point for my journaling. I like white edges around my pictures so I'm just trimming off these two pictures and again they're the most horrible pictures but they tell the story and that's what I really wanted to do here. I have a few, I took one of these four by three cards and I really liked the two um, speech bucket, uh, speech bubbles and didn't want them, it was too much so I put one up the top for the weight to balance the pictures at the bottom and you can see how I put the selvage strip with the little houses down the bottom of the paper and then that nice navy to offset the heaviness of the pictures at the bottom at the top. I had a piece of pattern paper with the words, sort of the woven words that I used behind the clouds. I like that subtle white on white tone. I end up having a hole in the bottom right left side of the paper that I just backed with a random piece. You'll see that as I come up and I'm just playing around with the different embellishments that came with the kit and some of the printables and the tags and stickers and just looking for some symmetry for that top left corner and some weight up there followed by the weight all along the bottom of the page. I use some of the word stickers. Uh, one of them says right now that's the one that's the blue down at the bottom and then have courage I end up putting across the picture and the top one that goes at that top left says anything is possible. They were all words that related to the story of Nicholas going and shadowing at high school for the first time. It was quite a experience for him. I had also cut out hello which you'll see in that bottom left corner from one of the day in the life cards and I really thought I wanted to back some of these pictures and add a little extra color but between the color and the clouds at the top that I add with my watercolors and these balloons I, I it really doesn't need anything else. Um, I like the symbolism of the the hedgehog or the porcupine because um, to me they're prickly and he was a little bit prickly about having to do this. He had applied to some specialty centers high schools and it wasn't something that he really wanted to do. It was stepping out of his comfort zone and this child is not one who's great at stepping out of his comfort zone though I have to give him credit and he has become um, much much better at that. So you can see where I've got that hole in that pattern paper um, and I want to use it anyway because I don't want to cut out a whole piece of paper and back that paper behind it. I've got my koi watercolors here and I wasn't very smart. I, th I think I knew I was filming and so I paint directly on the paper and didn't put anything behind it. But I do recommend in the future that you uh, put something behind your die cut. Otherwise it does leave a stain on your mat. So you can see where I've left some of the clouds in the die cut. Uh, I, I like the effect that that gave and I'm learning with my watercolors that more is better especially when it's puddly because while it may look overly saturated while you're actually working it dries with some really nice texture if you've got a lot of water in the watercolor especially with these koi's so I just put splashes of color here and there and I don't have well I do have a heat gun but it's not handy so I often just use paper towel to sop up the bits that I don't want uh, I didn't use too too much water so I didn't have to worry about it drying and there's that background woven paper that I put and you can see that hole in the cloud right there I probably could have cut off um, another piece of printed paper from one of the empty areas especially at the top right to fill it but I kind of like that different look of that one cloud there 
Because this is a bit more of a whimsical layout than I normally do, I trimmed that edge. I could have torn it as well, but I, there was something about the loosely trimmed edge that worked for me. And I really love that hot air balloon in the top left. So I've got my main elements and I have to rearrange them because I just pulled the layout apart and didn't really adhere anything. So I rearrange this and a few of these leftover clouds that are on my digital cut mat, I decide I want to pop up. And so I just kind of play with which ones are going to work. And I took that cloud out that watercolored and popped it up right there. And then I balanced some of the painted clouds with some white clouds just to add to that whimsical look. This is so out of the box for me. I don't typically scrap this way. I'm rather linear and rather graphic and this definitely has a lighter feel to it, which goes well with the fear that my son had waiting to go into the high school. We'd gotten there early as mom is wanting to do. I used some white thread down the bottom here to create another sort of a cloud effect and anchored that in place with the hot air balloon and then another one of the cut clouds that you saw me pull down earlier and then when I attach the flare I love that cloud flare in the top left I used some of the aqua tealy thread to again kind of another cloud look I'm just gluing down the embellishments that I had chosen and I love the the little touch, the, the breaking color of that dark color, that adding that little heart there on the top right navy journal card adds. My pretty little hedgehog, he's so cute. And then a couple of the stickers exclusive to the Coco Daisy kits. I think of this of Ashley who's no longer with Coco Daisy, but still scrapping, so be sure to check out her work. This this reminds me of an Ashley layout, and it was in many ways inspired by her whimsical, mixed-media sort of touched layouts that she created. So here, the thread that I mentioned earlier, it's wound on pretty tightly. It took me a while to find the beginning of that thread, and I just ball it up, literally. I kind of wrap it around my fingers and then ball it up and I, I don't adhere it with anything. I always use the overlapping embellishment to hold that down. My scotch foam that I use to pop up a few embellishments. When you have the weight of that flare, you do need a couple of popped elements I, I find to, to balance that dimension. So those two clouds and then some of the puffy stickers that I used provided that that balance for me to the the weight of the flare. Uh, this kit came with some really cute stamps and I, I liked the hot air balloons and while they're a whole lot smaller than the other hot air balloons that I used, I just really liked the added look of these in that white space. So I used some navy blue ink to stamp those in lightly. I um, have to trim off the top of that card. And there's that hole. Got to do something about it. And I played with play with several different types of paper um, and ultimately just settle on this little piece of word bubble back there just to cover up that hole. And you can't really tell. It just looks like another design element in the layout. And get the Maggie Holmes stickers and I really like these labels but I end up going with a lot of these words that I had mentioned earlier just to support Nicholas's emotions as he was waiting for this experience. He ended up having a really good time and it was funny to hear his impression of high school having never been to high school because uh, he's a eighth grader currently. And what you don't see here is, is that I actually had him go back in and he wrote his own journaling on the page. I'm very proud of him. And I also color photocopied the sticker that he wore that day. And so that journal block 
the block to the right of the main journal block, I um, just cut that out and put that in that photo block there. I found a couple of sequins that just added some extra fun bling, and we're going to call that done. So here's some close-ups. I hope you enjoyed my process video. All thumbs-ups would be great. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, the details of other places you can find me are in the memos. Thanks for stopping by today.